guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm gonna be reviewing the famous soap culture palette by anastasia if you are in the makeup world or on the youtube world you guys know that the tea has been crazy for this eyeshadow this past week um it launched and people started receiving it and out of nowhere this was all over the internet it legit broke the internet um, but yeah, I wanted to, I bought it because I wanted to try it out. I'm a big fan of Anastasia. I feel like their products are amazing. She's the brow queen. Her products for brows are just amazing. I'm a very big fan of the company, like I said. I feel like it's amazing how they started off like a small brand. And now they're big and they're at Macy's, Sephora, everywhere. So, I don't know. I really like Marina and what her mom are doing. They're killing it in the makeup game. So, when this palette came out... Um, everybody was going crazy because the pa the palette is so beautiful. The shadows are totally different. They're cool tone. I've never seen the palette with this type of colors. It does um, have chro dual chromes, metallics, and mattes. So you get a little bit of everything in here. The packaging is amazing. I love Anastasia's packaging. Yeah, um, like I said, this palette has been everywhere. There's been negative reviews all over the place. I've only seen two positive reviews on this eyeshadow palette so I was really scared to try it out um but yeah if you guys want to see what I thought and how it worked out for me then just keep on watching okay so let's get started I already primed my eyelids and I used my concealer by Maybelline so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the color Dawn which is this very skin color shade and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it all over my lid just to set that concealer because it's already creasing. Um, I just dabbed my brush twice. And you can see some fallout already. And I, it's already very packed in my brush. I mean, it does have some fallout. But I want to say the Modern Renaissance has a fallout too. I was actually using it yesterday and I realized how much fallout it has. It, as you guys could tell. It does, have, it does have a lot of fallout as well. So I don't know why people were making it seem like it was a big, big deal. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this to set my concealer. They are very pigmented. Um, from the Anastasia story, I did see that the shadows are very pigmented. They're a little bit more soft pressed, so a little bit goes a long way. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just using very soft strokes. Because it is a soft pressed shadow. So you do want to use a little bit more gentle with it. So that shadow was a little bit too dark to set my concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Buttery from the Artist Palette by Anastasia. I'm sorry if you guys hear any noise. There's actually my neighbors are like really loud right now. So sorry about that. I want to use Edge just because it's a yellow and I've been obsessed with yellow lately. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and dab on it. It did have some pickup, as you guys can see, twice. Excess. I actually never go in my shadow and rub it. I just kind of dab it and then go like that. I'm going to mix edge with this one just because I want a little bit more warmth with Roxy. I really don't know what look I'm going to create because I'm so scared of the shadows. All the reviews are so negative. It's blending nicely. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in just for you guys to see a little bit better. I'm going to apply tape just because of the fallout because I'm kind of scared. So it's blending okay. I'm not seeing any weird lines how a lot of people were saying they were seeing it on their crease um again i'm gonna pick up roxy and a little bit of edge it does have a little bit of fallout i'm not sure if you guys could see it but it's right there um it's not as bad as i would see it in some reviews i mean i'm being a little bit more gentle but it does have a lot of excess so i'm just gonna build this color up in my crease I think we just have to be very gentle when blending the shadows. Because they blend nicely. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and grab the shadow that it came with. Um, the brush that it came with. And I'm going to pick up the same colors. And I think I want to do a halo eye. So I'm going to go ahead and press them 
into here. And as you guys could see, it does have a little bit of powderiness. See, so people were not lying when it has a lot of fallout. Um, it does have a lot of fallout, but the powder, it's not coming off like from the pan. Some, some people just kind of, I guess we're going too hard into the pan. We just have to be very soft because they're very pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Roxy and All Star, mix them together just because I want a little bit more dimension and can you guys see that? Um, I'm going to just go ahead and apply this in the outer part of my eye. I'm going to change brushes. Okay, I see what people were saying with the blending part. Can you guys see how it doesn't pick up color right here? I mean, I'm going to try to blend it in there. But can you guys see how it's like no color right here? And I feel like this shadow... Let me get a closer look. I feel like this shadow changes color. So it's getting darker. Can you guys see it's not picking the color right here? And I already packed some in there. I'm gonna go back with this brush and just blend out the edges. And again, the color is coming off <laughs> right there. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Everything was going well, but this shadow, I think it's just gonna be this shadow that's gonna be a problem. Because honestly, I saw everybody kind of talk about it. That's why I grabbed towards it. Because I wanted to try it out myself. I'm going to apply it in the inner corner as well. It's a little bit patchy. I'm not sure what you guys could see. But um, see how there's like color missing here. And then like right here. Um, and same here. Like. It's like so much darker into my crease. It's so much darker in my crease than down here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know you guys. I do not know how I feel about this shadow. I don't want to blame the whole palette because of this shadow. Because everything else was working fine. When it goes into the crease, it blends a little bit darker than on the lid. I don't know why. And it's super, like, can you guys see right there? It's not blending right, right here. It's not picking up the color. Alright, so I'm going to move on because it's, like, bugging me. But I'm pretty sure you guys could see how it's, like, not picking up color there. And then over here, I kind of build it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the center color and then just try to build it up again. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, so I'm going to go ahead and use the color electric and I'm using a flat synthetic brush. And it looks like it barely picked any product up. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush just to pick it up a little bit better. I feel like I'll pick up so much more product once it's wet. I'm very disappointed on this color because I thought it would build up a little bit better. Um, but just because her metallics are known to be like very intense. But this one you do have to build it. So I'm going to go back with the brush that I had um I'll start in and just kind of blend out the edges so you guys could see like <laughs> this looks so bad um but you guys could see how it didn't pick up color there it keeps coming out and then over here too uh i'm so sad i thought it was gonna work better for me honestly 
I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and dip into All Star. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of fudge just because I feel like fudge has a lot of fallout too. Can you guys see? I don't know how I feel about this palette. <laughs> There's a lot of fallout for sure. And I mean, I don't mind the fallout. It's tripping me out that it's not picking up color up here, even though I'm packing it in there. I'm like legit just packing color. Trying to build it up in there, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it a cut crease because the inner part of my eye was not picking up that color. And I'm not going to about to redo all this right now. So I'm going to try to save the look by doing this. Their shadow electric is really pretty, but you definitely need to build it up. I mean, that worked out a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and blend right here. And I'm going to do a big wing today. Just because I want that shadow to kind of hide. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face and I mean the eyeshadow doesn't look bad because of the lashes. Lashes always save everything and then the color that wasn't picking up, I did an eyeliner. I did a wing to cover it up so I mean I guess it doesn't look bad. It looks We were able to save the look. Um, definitely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something like a halo eye so I ended up doing a cut crease. So I'm going to grab the color um, Roxy again. And a smaller brush and just run this underneath my lower lash line this color roxy is so pretty i wish you guys could see it in person okay so i applied roxy on the bottom lash line and now i'm gonna grab a little bit of all star and i'm just gonna put it in the outer part of my eye and just kind of blend them together this is the final look um like I said, it's totally different from what I wanted. I wanted to do a halo eye and it did not come out how I wanted. Um, the shadows did not blend evenly in a way. So I don't know how to describe this palette because it's very pigmented. But that one shadow you guys saw, how it wasn't picking up in certain areas. I mean, you could still kind of see it right here. Um, I'm going to assume you guys in one more time. You guys can kind of see it, how I didn't pick up color right there, and then on the inner part of my eye, and as well as right here. I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, I did see a lot of people use that shadow, and they had the same problem. So that's why I wanted to try it for myself, which I shouldn't have, because now I'm stuck with this eyeshadow. So my final thoughts on this palette is that the colors are beautiful. The formula is totally different. I could see that. Um, I really, if you know me in person, you know that I love Anastasia everything. I'm a big fan of the company, but this eyeshadow palette, it's not the best one. Um, so maybe, I don't know, I'm still going to play with it because always, there's always keep in mind that first impressions are not the best. I'm going to play around with it. Maybe it was just that one shadow that didn't work out for me. Um, but it does have a lot of fallout and as you guys could see, there's like a little like marks already like pretty deep in there um so i don't know i did see that you have to be very light handed when blending out so maybe that was my mistake because i'm so used to going in hard into blending but i feel like the shadow shouldn't be like that um it shouldn't be patchy um but yeah but do i recommend this palette i think you guys could skip on it honestly um Unless you're like really into eyeshadow and you feel like you could work with the shadows and the new formula, then go for it. I think you guys should just wait and for it to go into Macy's or into Sephora. Test it out for yourself and then if you guys don't like it, you guys could always return it. Um, I bought it online so I'm not going to return it because I actually want to keep playing with it and see how it works out. Um, my first impression could totally change the next shadows. There's a bunch of shadows that I didn't touch. So we'll see um but yeah those that's like the final thought i feel like i feel like they should have said that they changed the formula for they wouldn't have so many upset customers um but other than that that's it for today's video i hope you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and if you tried the shadows if you already tried this palette let me know if you like it or if you don't i don't i don't know i feel like there's so much drama going on so i don't know
know it just didn't work out for me but i'm still gonna try it out keep playing with it to see if the other shadows work well because obviously i only used a few shades but i don't know i'll see you guys on my next video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah bye